And you may have noticed an unusually large number of trucks in D.C. today. Extra delivery trucks are making the rounds with extra large loads. And as Brittany Morehouse tells us, it's all part of the grand inaugural stockpile. Stocking up on potatoes, vegetables, burger meat, and bread. This is my own recipe. Stocking up for huge crowds this weekend, and no restaurant, no neighborhood is an exception. From Z Burger in Tenley Town to Good Stuff Eatery on Capitol Hill. Because the cutoff points are right here on 2nd Street, so everybody's kind of filtering right through us. So we're expecting maybe like five, anywhere from 500,000 people to walk right past us. This is my own blend. This While Z's customers will trickle in from much farther, owner Peter Tabibian is still hoping to feed 3,000 people a day. I usually, on a Friday, we go through a thousand rolls, but I double the order. More food, more customers, longer lines for some restaurants, and that means shorter menus. You know, the regular menu maybe has like 30 items on it. We have three items now. Just a couple milkshakes, a couple hamburgers, one french fry. We're really preparing for ourselves like it's a fair, like an expo. Because really, there's no way of preparing for such a unique event. As restaurant tours say, they can only cross their fingers. Well, a little bit milk. And stay open for business. Brittany Morehouse for 9 News Now and WUSA9.com. Restaurants are also capitalizing on Obama's popularity. They're offering Obama burgers, Obama utensils, even Obama trail mix. By the way, if you order an Obama milkshake this weekend at Z Burgers, you'll get that for free.